Today we learned from police it may take two weeks to positively identify a child's body found at the East Point transfer station. Yeah, the grim discovery comes one week after two-year-old Josiah Mitchell was reported missing, and police believe there's a high probability that the body found is Josiah's. 11 Alive's Don White spoke one-on-one -on -one with East Point's police chief on the investigation and now the looming possibility of charges. I spoke to Josiah Mitchell's grandmother on the phone today. She told me that the family wants their privacy, but they do believe the child's body found is that of the missing toddler. Josiah! A week-long desperate search weighed not only on the community, but on East Point police. It's emotional for the entire department because we were all hoping and praying that we would have found this child alive. That hope diminishing yesterday when investigators found a child's body here at the East Point transfer station. That's devastating. For you. East Point Police Chief Sean Buchanan says data from Josiah's father, Artavius North's cell phone, led them to the body. By using technology, we can find out a person's location, where they've been, things of that nature. So it's just basically going through the process of going everywhere he's been, trying to look for what he could have possibly done with the child. And that's how we discovered the child. North initially reported his son was kidnapped during an armed robbery last Wednesday at the Aspenwood Apartments in DeKalb County. But police say cell phone data shows North was never in DeKalb County that night. A massive search for the boy followed. We're still trying to posit positively identify the child. Uh, that is our number one goal, and then find out the actual cause of death, and that's what's next. Detectives who work this case are getting grief counseling as they wait to learn if the body found yesterday is in fact Josiah. Most of us are parents, so to see a child that age have an unfortunate incident like this occur, it's emotional because it reminds us of, of our own families. So a lot of people had a lot of difficulties working this case, but one thing we have to do is bring this person to justice. And that's what kept us focused. Chief Buchanan tells me he is going to meet with the district attorney tomorrow to make sure everything is in order for possible charges once the body is identified. Police say Josiah's father is their only person of interest. In East Point, Dawn White's 11 Alive News.